Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more Europa Universalis 4. This time we're going to start a new series as the Kingdom of England, and we're going for the Anglophile achievement. I um, feel like this will be a nice series in conjunction with the uh, Great uh, the Great Con, I think is the name of the other one. I'm drawing a blank, apparently. Um, so yeah, if you guys have not already checked out the Discord, the link is in the description down below. Um, and if you want to show your support, if you could leave a like on this video, I would greatly appreciate it. But let's get started. So right off the bat, we're going to get a couple of things sorted out here. We are going to get rid of that. We are going to pre prepare for war with the French. So we're going to get you down there. Um, who are our rivals? France, Scotland, and Denmark. Burgundy would ally me. Very good. Does he want land? He doesn't. But he's rival to him, so he's going to want land. What about you? Doesn't want land. But if I could rival you, or ally you, that would be nice as well. Um, land maintenance sounds good. Land attrition sounds good as well. Very nice. Um, let us get a, a discipline guy. Switch over to mill. Diplo rep for half off. And unrest for half off. Sounds good to me. We will rival Scotland back. France back. And... Um, Neither of them are rivaled to, uh... Would you want some land? No. Brittany doesn't want any land either. Pope Man doesn't want any land. Does Pope Man hate France? Does he? Come on now. No, he doesn't. Feels bad. Well, I mean, Burgundy may be enough, honestly. So, let's go with, uh, just Denmark, I suppose. Advancements of Religion Act. Don't care about that. I think that's probably good to go. Let's get that turned on to trade power. Get these guys transferred, transported down here. We'll also pick up a couple of mercs for the army. These guys... Wait, did I go over? No, we're good. <clears throat> That'll make it so uh, we're not, you know, just burning through a ton of manpower when we're trying to uh, get all that. So... I will ally you, and I will also ally you. Yes, very good. I'm not sure if we actually want this alliance with you, so I'm going to dissolve that. And, um... They're allied to France. So, Savoy, France, and Provence. So that means no Scotland, which is good. At least no Scotland yet, so let's get you guys split. Shuffle split. And get our king over here. He is a garbage leader. Alright. So we're doing good. So far it's looking alright. Our alliance network looks nice. I really hope that he will come in on a promise of territory. Doesn't look like Aragon will. Burgundy looks like they definitely will. So let's just come over here. Um, and now I think we just kind of wait, honestly. Um, I don't think I'm going to get an heir. That's the problem. So the War of the Roses stops if we have an heir. But we also have a modifier for a chance of heir minus 5%. So let me see here. Chance of air 5%. So I need six royal marriages to get a 5% chance. It's not going to be worth it. Um, I will royal marry Aragon though. Not Burgundy. I will royal marry Austria as well. Because if we're going to call him in on problems of territory, there's a chance if I can win the war, I'm not going to give him any territory. So here we go. Surrender of Maine. So we will gladly accept that and go to war. We will take some claims on the Ile de France. Call to arms, won't accept. That's fine. We will take this. And I think that will give me a decent advantage. Okay, so we're good. Um, let's get on to... Let's get you guys on here. Hmm. Let's see if we can piece out Brittany. 
How? Dude, they're so fast. I will never understand how people are so... How little little enemy stacks move so much faster than mine do. Um, very good. Let's put on defensive edict there. Prevent them from sieging that down. This is Provence's capital, so I think I will allow that. Hmm. Okay. Let's come over here and see if we can... He's locked in, so let's see if we can catch up with him and get a good fight going. Stack wipe even, maybe. Yes. Oh, that's so good. That's big. Very good. Alright, so let's get you guys split up. That's awesome. Let's also... Get this guys over here, just in case that this... Stack breaks the siege, we can keep it going. We got a wall breach here, very nice. Okay. Numbers are still looking good in our favor. We're gonna, the goal is going to be to separate piece out a couple of people and then just, you know, whittle away at France. Ideally, Brittany or Burgundy will piece out separately. So he's got 14k just down here, just sitting on a fort that he's not gonna make very much progress on very quickly. Look at these siege ticks. 39 days, 34. Let's get a blockade over here. Give us a much better chance of getting that wall breach. Actually, I'm going to do it. Working on Chartier. If we can get Chartier real quick, then we can come over here and actually defend his homelands, which would be perfect. Okay, making good progress here. Um, sounds good to me. Local trade power sounds good to me as well. 21% chance. No. Milan entered a military alliance. I don't care. Okay, so we won that one. So let's get you down here. Ideally, he doesn't win any of that 7 oh, He did. He won the 7%. Feels bad, man. Um, But we won this one, which is really good. We're actually beating up on France. Okay. We can probably peace out Brittany. We will do that. Have you annul your alliance with him and you will give us all your money. Very nice. And then... He took his capital. I'm not sure how quickly he'll peace out. At this pace, we're going to win the war. Um, ideally... <sighs> Come on, I want to win this siege too. It's a lot of men he's sitting on that fort. Jeez. If we can take Paris, that'd be good. Okay, so let's... Uh, I'll take the army of professionalism. I think I can peace out Provence. Close. That's a lot of men on that fort. So let's see if we can siege down some stuff. Ideally, he doesn't win that siege anytime soon, but... It's looking like he's probably going to siege it down pretty quickly. Okay. Um, dang, dude. That's a lot of men. Do we... I guess we try to come over here and try to uh, siege back his provinces. That sounds about right. 21% chance. Very good. 3.5% attrition. That's a big stack to be taking that much attrition on. Um, Margaret d'Anjou. Our ruler suffers from bouts of insanity. He suffered a complete breakdown when his son was born. Margaret of Anjou, his beautiful, passionate, proud, and strong-willed wife, was already taken to rule the kingdom in his place. Uh, she understands her duty to protect the interests of the crown fervently, a trait probably inherited from her mother and grandmother. Her mother fought to establish her husband's claim on the kingdom of Naples. Yolanda of Aragon, Margaret's grandmother, governed Anjou as with a man's hand, put the province in order and kept out the English. She is the champion of the crown, of the crown by virtue of personality and example. So there's uh, Anjou. 
So will that stop? War of the Roses? I think it actually will. Has an air. So it didn't, but it makes she's much better ruler. And we're we have a chance of getting an air now, right? Chance of an air is five percent. So can we get a royal marriage with you? So we have a ten percent chance every month of getting a royal marriage, or getting a an heir, which is good. As soon as we take, hmm, let's see here. I'm not sure if this is a fight we want to take. I think we're gonna lose that. a lot of men in that fight we're gonna lose oh my goodness we lost <laughs> well, that was my fault I shouldn't have engaged really man jeez that's a lot of men just sitting up here and just like that we lost everything that doesn't seem right Provence will peace out here in a little bit Let's get over here. Let's see here if we can get a quick stack wipe on you. No? Huh? He can reinforce very quickly. Alarmingly fast, actually. That's okay. Hopefully we still have enough men in the field. Provence is... They need to peace out soon, man. Okay. So I think... I'm just being too quick to engage in fights that I should not be taking. Like, I need to look for fights like this, where he doesn't have any allies around. Let's not take that attrition. If we can avoid it. Very good. Split you off. And we got an heir. Very good. Henry. Sounds good to me. We're losing a lot of money, though. Jeez. So War of the Roses should be done. Yes, very good. Um, let's get you over here. And get you up here. We lost our unrest, dude. I'll just go without the admin for now. Okay. So he's got like 40k men up here just taking attrition on this mountain fort. Well, 20k now. All right, so France is starting to lose his stuff. He has high war exhaustion. Provence is gonna want out soon as well. Um, I will take the mill points for sure. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna get these guys joined up over here because I think we can win this fight because we'll have a plus two for our defensive terrain fort. Let's make sure we got a discipline guy here. Should be a win for us. Very good. All right, let's see if we stand on this fort. Okay, we can actually piece him out right now. If we stand on the fort, we'll get a little extra. Okay, so we can even have him annul alliances and give me some money. Very good. So I'm thinking I might actually take the um, the personal union. We'll see. Oh, he was the one who had these. Oh, that's really good. I didn't even realize that. All right, so let's get over here to Savoy. See if we can piece him out. <clears throat> All right. Let's come down here and see if we can peace out Savoy. Just by standing on his provinces. Which is oftentimes something that you can do. Little known fact, occupied and besieged provinces is a really good modifier. Okay, so let's do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Spread them out. Okay. He will peace out now. And just like that, it's just me against France. Me and Burgundy against France. So I'm gonna... Oh, he keeps giving up the Siege of Paris like a dingus, though. 
So we're really low on manpower, so I need to be careful about using up too much of it. So let's come over here, see if you, they'll join up with me. Somehow he has control of this province, so that's not very good. Um, also, why is the six deck over here? <laughs> Alright. Let's have these guys hang out here, ready to um, ready to pounce if and when the time comes. Get you guys down here. See if we can siege down a couple extra provinces. As soon as we take Paris, we're gonna get 16 war score plus whatever we get from actually having the province. <clears throat> so we're we're in a good spot. His um his manpower is probably tanked as well. He actually has 17k, so he's doing better than me. I'm jelly. <clears throat> so let's get you guys over here. Get those loot ticks. And now we just kind of sit back and wait. We can probably take these guys and mothball them. Save me a little bit of extra dosh. So Burgundy is going to want to get out of here soon. Even if, in, honestly, I want him to separate peace, if he will. Um, I'm not sure if we back him up or not. Oh, they fled. Okay. Just waiting on that Siege of Paris. So we're at six, and we don't even have Paris occupied. This is perfect, this is perfect. Okay, very good. So he pieced out. Why can he not move? Oh, because, oh no. Okay, this is actually kind of bad now. I didn't realize he didn't give me control of this province. Let's see if we can get a Siege Leader. Oh, one more, okay. That's a huge loss of mill points, but I think I need this siege pit more than I need the mill points. <clears throat> need to take Paris. Need it. Okay, we got that. And so this union is closer now than it was before. Um, I'm gonna keep him just sitting right here. He's just sitting down here. He's been on this fort for quite a while. Wait. He returned a pro <laughs> I didn't even read it. He actually returned this province to me. That's really funny. Thanks, Burgundy. He separate pieced out and gave me a province. That's funny. Alright, let's um keep those guys though. Okay, let's actually. Take a couple of men out of that. It'd be really cool if I could get... Ugh, yeah, I can't afford to like have my men not together. Because one-on-one, -on -one, his, his armies are going to beat mine. No questions asked. They're going to. I have no manpower. I think I'm going to... Consolidate those guys and how many it leaves me a six. So let's do four Get those guys all joined up together Okay, I think if we can win this fort then we can really start just running around and just bopping them You know whack-a-mole kind of kind of deal so let's let's just see who is going to want to join a coalition. Oh, nobody. If we fight, oh, well then I'm good. Nobody that I'm worried about at least. Let me see here. Provence, Brittany. 
Well, I can just improve relations with Brittany. He's not going to want to join it eventually. <clears throat> uh, well, don't care about that event. Um, I'm going to hold on to this. The Renaissance on time. Okay, let's get you guys split up over here. And uh, just get some more score going. Uh, we have to accept this. Of course we do. Wow. I think I do this. Uh, maybe I can take a little bit of money. I don't want to push it though. Let's see here. Because I can get a little bit of extra war score if I sit on that province. That's fine. I don't care. And just like that, we have a PU over S over France. Um, permanent claim in the Brittany area, subjugate France, really. Owned by England or its non-tributary subject. So manpower recovery is a really good one, but I think I'll hold on to this for the harsh treatment cost. I could really use the manpower recovery, but um, you know what, we're gonna do that actually. And let's see here, Is he's probably gonna be super, super disloyal. Hmm. How long is our truce with you? 61, so we have 11 years to figure it out. Um, I would rather be friends with you than Aragon. I have the royal ties with Aragon though. I'm going to improve with you, but I'm not going to royal marry you. Um, are you rivaled? He is rivaled to Aragon. So I think, yes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rival Aragon, and that will allow us to break royal ties, and then it'll allow us to ally Castile, which is what we want. Second of June. Very good. Much better rival than Aragon. Um, and then we will also rival... Apparently Burgundy rivaled me. No? Wait. How come we aren't allies anymore? He must have broke the alliance. Okay, that's fine. So we can just rival Burgundy and take his land. Doesn't matter to me. Okay, so let's get you guys joined up and get all those, um... Matter of fact, I think I should keep the mercs for now. Because that'll keep, uh, it'll make me look like I'm stronger than I am. I will turn that down, though. Um, don't want Pope Man to hate me. Calais can be staple port. In fact, I'm going to improve that. And we will also improve the trade. Let's also cut that edict out from here. And then how are we on edicts? So we just have trade up here. Let's also turn off forts, I suppose, because we don't have any real um, military tradition I need to be concerned about. So we're going 12.38. Okay, so we gained some, some ducats per month. Let's go with national unrest. We have our diplo rep, okay, so that's good. We're more than likely gonna end up having to dev up France's core, or France's, um, lands in order to keep him loyal but for now i'm happy i think that's a this is a really good first episode so far can i break royal ties with you i can and i will um that being said we should probably pick up another ally just because we can no free diplomats um let's see here could pick up a vassal over here but I kind of don't want that. I kind of want like an ally, like a proper ally. Bavaria. Granada. <laughs> you know what? I think I will, um, do any of these guys have? So 
Thalmond has claims on all this land, so I'm gonna I'm gonna vassalize him. Okay, I don't need to be improving relation with you, and I don't care about that one anymore. Yes. And then we're gonna use our great power influence to uh, influence him. And then we are going to have him transfer trade. Oh, we can give him a gift as well. Plenty of things we can do to get him up to 190 to vassalize him. Very good. <clears throat> transfer trade power. Very good. And uh, I think offer military access. Let's actually get get them up here. Um, offer military access, and we'll be able to vassalize him in a couple of months. Aggressive expansion, 24. Jeez. Disgusting. Um... French noble rebels. He's defender in the mountains, but looks like it's gonna happen anyways. Feels bad, man. That's so funny that he returned. Burgundy returned that core to me. Uh, so Burgundy has a successor succession crisis. All right. Definitely making progress. Well on our way. Um, we did take that one. So what's the next one we're looking for? Maritime Empire. More total ports than 40, huh? War of the Roses Disaster or Reach Age of Reformation without triggering it. So I think that one we will get here in about 50 years and levy the troops. Manpower at least 60 and army force limit. Ooh. Subjugation on Scotland. Very nice. So what is our force limit? So two more. I think I can do that. I'll actually make them mercs as well. Just to make it a more... Um, so we're not using all our manpower for it. And I think I could actually... Slacken recruiting standards. That'll let us actually get us... Yeah, there we go. I was going to say, that'll get us super close. So that gives us... Uh, the subjugation CB on Scotland, which lasts for how long? I should have looked before I clicked it, admittedly. 61. Who are you allied to? Bunch of these guys over here. Okay. Let's give him subsidies as well, so we can hurry up and get him... Get him vassalized. And one more month. There we go. Alright, let's actually turn our army maintenance back up. So are you going down at all? Let's see what we need to do here. Opinion is a super bad one and trust. Trust will trend upwards over time get you up here Desmond who is Desmond so Cork and Kildara which is this one let's go one more month here maybe we attack you Ofali Co-belligerent. I mean, honestly, yes, that's good. And then Kildara. Okay, so I think this is the one we go for. Let's just stack wipe these guys as quickly as possible. Uh, let's uh, come over here. See if we can get a stack wipe. We do. Very good. And then we just split them up and siege them down. And there we go. Speed five it. <laughs> That was easy, right? Just finish up these wars. We're gonna give all this land to him because I don't want to pay the money to core it. I'll lose the prestige, I suppose. We're eventually going to attack him. He's just allied to a bunch of these guys. So if I can co-belligerent like Sligo, I can co-belligerent him. 
take that for our guy as well, as well as Tyrconnell, who is... Okay, so we can co-belligerent both of those guys. We can give him two more provinces. So that'll be good. Actually, we could do it. Livonia will not join him. Hmm. He's getting sieged down by Denmark. So this is good. Uh, forward to glory. Uh, let's get you guys blockading him over here. There is one down. Two down. Truce with Savoy is over. Come on now. Siege down this last one. One more. Come on. One more. One more. There we go. And we will give all this land to Thomond. And we will take all of it for him. Very good. We'll take all the money. Just like that. So then we have this army up here to beat up on them. So we will... So, yep, this is perfect. And we will subjugate them. Speed four. See if we can get up here. It's full garrison, so it doesn't matter a whole lot. But we'll put our siege guy over here. Okay. Doesn't look like Ulster. Oh, Ulster did join. Uh, let's see if we can get over here. Okay. We'll separate piece him out. They actually have a decent navy. Mostly lights. I'm going to actually group these guys back up down here. Alright, let's have you go home. That navy's a little juicy, so I gotta be careful for that. Alright, well we're gonna finish up this war in the next episode. I hope that you guys are excited for the new series. I sure know I am. Um, if you are excited, please show your support. Leave a like. It is hugely helpful. Uh, make sure you check out the Discord and check me out on Twitter. And if you want to see more of this, you can subscribe. And with all that being said, this is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later.